guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video it's been a minute since i've done a haul and i'll be honest that is because as you would have known if you watch the vlogs regular on my channel i've recently moved house so pretty much all my money has been going on lamps furniture house stuff candles the fashion and the bags and the shoes if i take a back seat do you know what for a couple of months it had to be home stuff and i'm not mad about it i've really been in my home era however I feel like we don't want to jinx it but i think spring is coming i think it's here we are officially in spring some days it's blue skies some days it's rain that's england for you however i was looking at my wardrobe trying to find something to wear the other day and i was just so uninspired for my wardrobe i was like what is even in here and part of that is because i haven't got my spring summer stuff out of the garage yet because it's an amount of a million and one other things but i also feel like i just needed some newness in my wardrobe to inspire me to feel like i am in spring summer basically so i went on zara which to be honest i haven't been buying a lot from zara recently um i think because it was in between seasons it was just like nothing was coming out to me um, but I went on Zara, they had some lovely stuff and I went on Mango and they had some stunning stuff. I always forget about Mango but they've opened a new shop in Newcastle which then reminded me of them. So I went on and spent a fortune. They had some amazing stuff and I love it all. So love that for me. Got my cup of tea at the ready, go grab yours if you haven't got one and let's get into the haul. Okay, let's start off with mango and I picked up a few accessories because I literally couldn't resist. First up is these sunglasses. I think they look like the vintage Chanel ones, which I absolutely love, but don't really want to pay the price tag for. And with sunglasses, I think it's risky because they could easily get broken, they could easily get lost. And I am not someone who, well, I am someone who chucks my sunglasses in the bottom of my beach bag to be honest, on my handbag. So a cheaper alternative is a win-win for me. They're like this almost um, like tinted glass. You can see your eyes through them. Let me put them on. I love them. I really love vintage sunglasses. Oh, I just love them so much. I just think the vintage sunglass look looks really nice. These will be coming on holiday with me, but also able to style up through spring, summer. I then picked up two hats. First up is a classic cap. I've just realised that says the classic club. It's a classic cap and it says the classic club. So this is like a denim, almost like acid wash cap. I just thought this was really cool. I thought in the summer on holiday with a bikini, it would look lovely, but also it's like, like I said, a classic cap that you can kind of throw on with any outfit, whether it be denim, plain, colourful. Like I just feel like it will be a really easy throw on cap to have in your wardrobe. I liked the very basic embroidery along the front. It kind of reminds me of like the sporty and rich style. I've got a black sporty and rich one and the font on the front is very, very similar. I don't know how much it was, but it'll be linked down below in the description. And I just think it is really cute. This next hat, I am obsessed with. When I'm on holiday, I love a hat. I love a bucket hat. I think they're the cutest things in the world with a bikini. Oh my god, I just love it. I think it is so cute. Imagine with a blue bikini or with like a cream, like stone coloured bikini, a big blue shirt over the top. I just think it's adorable. I'm not going to put it on because it'll ruin my hair, but it's really cute. I just think in the summer, a plain outfit can be really dressed up with a hat like this. Imagine denim shorts, a white shirt, this hat, a little matching blue bag. Oh, I'm really excited. I can't wait to go on holiday. I think this came in another colour as well. Um, I'm really going to try and get quite a few hats like this this summer because one, it protects your hair and it protects your face from the sun, which is amazing. And two, they look cute. So if that doesn't sell it to you, I don't know I will. Okay, moving on to clothes from Mango. This first piece is a little bit of an investment, but I think it will be a wardrobe staple for the spring and transitional period. Wow. 
So this is a denim jacket you're going to be able to see better in the try-on clips, but it's almost vintagey looking. Kind of like a biker racer jacket, but in a washed denim, acid denim colour. I love this colour of denim. I think it's very wearable in the warmer months. It's kind of got like shoulder pad detail, kind of like a bomber, and it's just straight at the bottom. I picked this one up in a medium and it was £119, I think which is a bit on the pricier side for a denim jacket to be completely honest but I do think denim jackets are investment pieces that stay in your wardrobe forever. I've only got one other denim jacket in my wardrobe and it is an old Topshop one which I have had for years and every time I wear it I get so many questions and I've literally had it probably about 10 years. Yeah it must be 10 years, I'm sure I got it when I was at school from Topshop like I went in the shop and bought it and I will never get rid of it because it is a classic cropped easy to wear denim jacket and I just love it. So will this also be an investment piece which stays in my wardrobe for another 10 years? I hope so because I do think it's cute and I like this whole like vintage style detail. I feel like it's quite timeless. Let me know what you think. I love it and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it like you could chuck it on top of like even like a hoodie and leggings and it like dresses up a little bit but it can also be casual just let me know your thoughts i also picked up a few tops from mango the first one is this classic little racer top but it's in a almost knit stretchy rib like it's definitely yeah it's knitted it's um quite thick material really really lovely quality and the shape of this is gorgeous it's almost got like a curved hem so it's really flattering when you wear it on tops like this are just an essential for me in spring summer and winter to be fair because i layer them but under a blazer under a shirt under anything they just are a classic i just live in these i picked this one up in a small because i thought it would be stretchy and i'm glad i did because it is super stretchy and with razor tops like this I want them fitted, I don't want them hanging off, you want them to be almost like sculpting, second skin vibes, um, but really love this, I'm actually going to see if they've got it in a different colour, I hope it comes in black, because a nicer quality razor top is so wearable, I've got a few, I've actually got one on now, which is from Primark actually, and I've had this about two years, and I wear it so much, I always go for it underneath blazers, they're just a good essential I have. I then picked up the same top in three colours because when I was in Mango in Newcastle I saw this and I knew that I loved the quality and the look of it. So this is them. It is again a pretty basic like vest top but as you can see it's like a ribbed sheer style top so you would have to wear something under um, with the black when I tried it on I just wore a black lace bra same with the khaki and with the white a white lace bra but I really like that look I think it looks nice you could also wear like a plain white cami underneath if you wanted to wear something a little bit more reserved but these are really lovely quality they're like a slinky stretchy material I think they'll be an absolute staple for the spring summer they're a really lovely flattering shape on and I think they're just a good alternative if you want to wear a white or black basic top but just dress it up a little bit so I obviously got the white, I got them in a size small, I got the black which I absolutely love, Zara did a similar version but long sleeved which I really wanted but it was never in stock so these are like my spring summer alternatives and I also got the khaki, I just love the colour khaki, I think it's so nice. So yeah, really happy with those three. I feel like the black with denim will just look so nice because sometimes a black top it's a bit harsh Whereas the almost like sheerness of it makes it look that little bit more spring summer. Next up is a few skirts. I've mentioned before, I absolutely love a skirt. I just think that they're so easy to wear. I find them really flattering on and I just am a skirt fan. So felt like I needed to pick up a few more to add to my collection. First up is this really cute khaki mini skirt. This with the khaki top. Is adorable to be honest i love the utility style of it i love that it like flares out a little bit it's a good level of high-waisted wear it's not too much because i've tried on some skirts like this 
and they've just looked really weird on me. I don't know if they were too high waisted, that it looked like a literal school skirt. Whereas this looks really cool on, I think. I love it. I picked it up in a medium, which is a good size. It is quite short, but to be honest, I would probably always wear this with either a coat, so it's going to be covering my bum anyway, or like an oversized white shirt. So I'm just going to risk it. If I'm honest, I have to just be a bit careful when I wear it. I feel like this is like my summer spring alternative to cargo trousers, which are an absolute go-to for me in the colder months. Like I live in cargos. So we're carrying on the cargo style, but in skirt form. Now you've probably seen these skirts everywhere. It's the denim midi skirt and I have well and truly been influenced by everybody wearing these because they are just gorgeous. I think it looks so chic and stylish, but casual and effortless and just, I just love it so much. So I picked up this one. It is literally just a plain denim skirt with a little slit up the front. I actually ordered it in a small and a medium. And if I'm honest, I could have done with between those two sizes because the small is too tight. Like it doesn't feel comfortable. And the medium is too big around the waist. So I've opted for the medium and I'm going to go and get it tailored because I've literally got the biggest pile of jeans and trousers that all need to be tailored. So I'm going to add this to the pile and go and get it done. It's just ever so slightly too big on the waist where I'd like it a little bit more fitted but on the legs and bum it fits perfectly so I'd rather do that than have it too tight and be uncomfortable. I just really hope that these skirts stay in fashion because I think they're gorgeous and they're so easy to wear and easy to style up. If you've seen this skirt and aren't sure if it's going to suit you, honestly I recommend going and trying it on because when I first saw it I was like that'll never suit my body shape, like I'll just, it won't look good on me. And then I tried it on and I actually surprisingly really liked it and now I'm really glad I did. This is a good alternative when you don't want to wear like a mini skirt or a maxi skirt. It's a good in the middle, you know, it's a midi. I also picked up this one, which I love, but I do think I'm going to be sending back because it's just a little bit too big and I don't know if tailoring will fix it. So it's again, another midi skirt, same style as the denim one, but more of the utility style with the pockets. And I like the material, it's like a stretchy material, but I, I don't know, there's something about it on that I just don't like. I envisioned wearing this with one of the tops that I showed you before, the white one, maybe some little white heels. Maybe I should try that and see how it looks. You'll see in the try and clip anyway. Let me know your thoughts. But yeah, I don't know about this one. Now I'm rethinking if I want it or not. Do I want it or not? I don't know. You help me decide. And the final thing I picked up from Mango is, again, a bit of a wardrobe classic for the spring summer, to be honest. And it's just a white shirt. You can't go wrong. Everyone needs a white shirt in their wardrobe, let's be real. I just like this one because it almost felt like a boyfriend shirt. Like it looks like a work shirt kind of. It's got the cuffed sleeves. It's a nice, not too thick material. So it's gonna be wearable in the summer as well. And it's already got quite an oversized fit. I picked it up in a medium and it is nice and oversized. I really like layering these underneath blazers but wearing them open with like a racer top like this. Or in the summer, I literally just throw it over everything. Okay, moving on to Zara. The first thing I picked up was these trousers that some may say look like pyjamas, but I love them. These are drawstring trousers. I probably would only wear these on holiday, if I'm being totally honest, because they are quite like a casual beach trouser style. They've got this thick detail at the bottom, which I think is a really nice feature. However, I might have to get them taken up because I'm only five foot three and they might drag across the floor. But I love the drawstring detail. I think with a white bikini, have them low rise, little basket bag. Oh my God, I just can't wait. Online, they have a matching cropped shirt, which I've got my notifications on for because that with a white bikini and the cropped shirt, catch me at a beach club in the summer that's all I'm saying but they didn't have my size in stock when I ordered so I left it but gorge love it I picked them up in a medium and they were 25 99 and I just think they're a great holiday trouser to be honest I might be getting ahead of myself talking about holiday clothes but we do have a few holidays booked so 
I'm getting prepared and starting to order things. These also came in a few different colours, so I'm going to order them because the fit of them is really lovely on. I think they came in like a black and a nude, and trousers like this are just so good to throw on over a bikini or with a racer top to pop for lunch, pop to the bar to get yourself a cocktail. Oh, I then got this gorgeous top. Now, the colour of this is just beautiful. It actually comes with matching trousers and a matching blazer um, but they didn't have my size in the trousers and to be honest I thought I'd probably style it with white anyway. It's like a linen style material kind of like a waistcoat shape but the back look at that so it's like backless with this um, almost like it looks like a bra strap but I just think it is so beautiful. And I feel like you could wear this a lot of ways. You can wear it with denim, you could wear it with white, you could dress it up, you could dress it down. I just think it's such a lovely shape and it looks so expensive. I picked this one up in a small and it was $25.99. The reason I got a small over a medium, I'm always a bit 50-50 between small and medium in tops because don't want it to be too tight on the boobs. But with this adjustable back, I thought will be able to make it bigger and smaller anyway and I'd rather it be tight and not having a boob fall out you know with the open back situation we need a bit of security in there you know another summer top which I picked up is this one I love the colour of this just think it is so cute I picked up something similar to this last year in like just literally a white shirt material I just thought this had a little bit more about it styled with some nice cream trousers or a nice camel skirt tucked in would be lovely it's a one shoulder detail it's got a zip in this ruche effect up the side which is really flattering on I got a size small and it was $35.99 the fit of this is lovely it feels very secure on and I love it. I do you think this came with trousers as well? But I just thought again that I'd wear it with more like denim and cream rather than like a full matching set. And finally, I picked up some trousers from Zara. I feel like I pick up trousers like this pretty much every year because they always bring them back or they bring something similar and they're just so wearable in the warmer months. So the fit of these is 10 out of 10. I got a size medium and they were $35.99. They're high-waisted. They've got this thick waistband. They're like a white linen material. They look so expensive. They've got like a pleat down the front. They're super wide leg. I honestly love these so much. Dress these up or down. You could wear them with heels and a dressy top like the ones I've just shown you or sandals and your classic white racer they're really versatile i was really impressed with the quality of these because sometimes trousers like this can be quite thin and i think these are really good for the price the only thing with this material is it creases so easily so it's one of those trousers where you wear them and then you sit down and you stand up and it's got all creases and it's really annoying but they look gorgeous so it's worth it and that is everything that I picked up in this haul guys I have restocked for spring summer but I am going to keep an eye out for other places so if you want me to do a haul from anywhere else let me know and I will have a little look everything will be linked down below in the description as always make sure to like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it and I will see you in the next one bye